everyone. I am Dr. Prajwalit Shikha and today I am here to talk about one of the very interesting phenomenon of sound which is known as beats. How beats are produced? When two sound waves of same amplitude but slightly different frequencies travel in the same direction and they interfere, then beats are produced. So in the resultant wave, what happens? There is a variation in amplitude. So amplitude changes from a maximum value to a minimum value. And this variation in amplitude is heard as variation in loudness of the resultant sound. So it goes to a maximum to a minimum, then a maximum to a minimum. And it keeps on varying. So here in this diagram, let me explain you that there are two different waves of slightly different frequencies. So the frequency of first wave is 4 hertz. And the frequency of second wave is 5 hertz. So there is 1 hertz frequency difference between these two. Now when both of them interfere with each other, then we see that there are three different points which are marked in, the, in this diagram. The first point here, the two waves are interfering constructively. It means that both the waves are exactly in phase. Hence, the resultant amplitude will be the sum of amplitudes of the individual waves. So here since the amplitudes are equal, which is equal to small a, hence the resultant amplitude is twice of small a. Now at this second point, the waves are interfering destructively because they are completely out of phase. Hence the resultant amplitude is difference of the amplitude of individual waves and which is equal to zero. Again at this point, both are interfering constructively and hence the resultant amplitude is twice of A. Now this variation in amplitude is heard as loud sound, no sound, loud sound. Now look at this diagram. Here again there are two different waves of slightly different frequencies and here what we see is beats. So in the resultant wave you can see various loops are being formed. So these are called as the number of beats. So if this scale represents one second, then we can say that the number of beats produced in one second is three. Hence, the frequency of beats is three hertz or beat frequency is three hertz, which will obviously be the difference in frequencies of these two waves. Now, what are the applications of beats? So there are various applications. Let's see them one by one. One of the application is it is used in the frequency determination of an unknown source of sound. So if there are two different sources where one source frequency is known and another source frequency is not known, then both the trick is that both are sounded together. And if no beats are heard, it means that both are of same frequency. But if beats are heard, then the number of beats per second are counted and using this formula, the frequency of unknown source is determined. The formula is the frequency of unknown source is equal to frequency of known source plus or minus number of beats per second. Second application is tuning of musical instruments. So if two different musical instruments has to be in perfectly in tune with each other then they are sounded together if beats are produced it means that they are not perfectly in tune so it is easy to get them in tune by just removing the beat sound then detection of harmful gases in mines now how this is done so the laborers which go inside the mines they must be breathing in pure air so whether the air is pure or fit for the laborers or not uh, for that purpose two tubes are taken. In one tube, pure air is put. In another tube, the air from that mine is put and both are sounded together. So if the air inside the mine is pure, no beat would be, would be heard. But if that air is not pure, beats would be heard. So that information becomes helpful. Then in radio reception also, beats are used. Now there are some of the questions that we may quickly take up. One question is that find the difference between interference and beats. So one difference I told you that in interference the waves may travel in opposite direction or in the same direction. But in beats the waves 
must travel in the same direction. Similarly, in interference, what happens? There are fixed points of maxima and minima in big beats. This is not the case. There are so many other differences which you may find in various literature available. Now let us come to the second example. In this example, I'll read the question that a tuning fork with unknown frequency gives five beats per second with another tuning fork of 384 hertz. Now when loaded with little wax, only three beats are heard. So in this case, we have to find out the frequency of the, uh, the source. We'll use the same formula for that purpose. And using that formula, we will have two different values of frequencies, 389 and 379. Now, as in this question, the information is that the number of beats per second decreases when the fork is loaded with little wax. It means that the frequency would also be less. Hence, we will go with the number 379 in this case. Now, let us quickly look at the mathematical description of beats. So, there are two waves involved. These two are the equations of two waves. One is y1 is equal to a sin 2 by f1 t and y2 is a sin 2 by f2 t where a represents the amplitude which are same for both the waves and f1 and f2 are the frequencies of the two waves respectively which are very slightly different from each other. Now to get the resultant we will apply the principle of superposition according to which this y would be equal to y1 plus y2. Now solving this we would get the equation as a sin 2 by f1 plus f2 upon 2 into t and cos 2 by f1 minus f2 upon 2 into t. Here we have used the formula sin a plus sin b which is equal to 2 sin a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2. Now here we substitute for a cos 2 by f1 minus f2 upon 2 into t as capital A where this capital A represents the amplitude of the resultant wave. Now this a can take two different values, one maximum, another one minimum. So the maximum value of A will be given by putting this cos term is equal to plus minus 1. Now on solving this, we will get the values of T as 0, 1 by F1 minus F2, 2 by F1 minus F2 and so on. Similarly for A min, if we will solve, we will get the values of T as 1 upon 2 F1 minus F2, 3 upon 2 F1 minus F2, 5 upon 2, f minus f2 and so on. So here we see that the time difference of occurrence of two consecutive maxima or two consecutive minima is equal to 1 upon f1 minus f2. And hence the beat frequency is given by f1 minus f2 modulus or f1 negation f2. Now negation is a symbol which says that the difference would happen from a bigger number to a smaller number. Now, uh, just to help you experience beats, I have an application, I have explored an application which is called as online tone generator and uh, using that you can also hear beats and you can see that when the frequencies of two sources differ, how the resultant changes and you would also find that only if the frequencies are slightly different then only beats are heard. So we have this online tone generator here. You can see there are two boxes and you can fill the frequencies as per your interest. So here I have filled 500 and 503. As you can see that this difference is very small. So I expect that beats would be heard. So let us play this. So yes, we could hear the beats. Now by changing the frequencies, you may experience more sounds. I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much.